talking about um, whether or not they think that social network is a good thing or a bad thing and how it has influenced them, um, either positive or negative. I know um, Four Queens recently did a video on that and I also heard Sunshine Morning Ray mention how um, when she was first involved in the path, um, there was nothing like that. Um, so I think it really is a positive thing because you don't really have to try very hard to find information when you're looking for it. It's readily available and especially on YouTube, I think um, finding people that you resonate with and listening to them talk about subjects that interest you really helps you digest the information um, much more than just simply reading a book or something. Um, it makes it much more easy to understand. <clears throat> um, and on another note, um, having people to talk to who aren't necessarily in your everyday life, um, I think allows you to share things that you really need to share, um, that you need somebody else to talk to or to just, you know, to voice, to voice your opinion and share ideas and it's a safe place to do that. Um, on the other hand, you know, you are putting your name out there, unless, um, I know some people probably use fake names or whatever. Um, I have attached my real name and my real information, and I have gotten some questions from family members who have Googled me online just out of curiosity to see what comes up, and, um, you know, stuff about witchcraft came up, and I just dealt with it, you know, I'm honest, I'm an honest person, um, I am what you see. I'm not one of those people who tries to present a different picture because I believe in being real. And, you know, people need to know you for who you are, I think. Um, so, that being said, um, the reason I'm making this video right now is that I had an idea for um, a spring spell, and I thought I would share that with you. Um, you could do it for Astara or... Um, May, um, Beltane, but, um, my idea was that, you know how they sell, um, those cocoon things, um, like you buy the caterpillar cocoons and you can grow them into butterflies and set them free in the spring, well, I thought that would be a great idea for a spell, um, to weave your intentions into these larvae, um, Know, and while it's growing and changing and maturing in there, so is your intention. It's sort of like an earth spell, I suppose. Like, you know, you plant and put your intention in the apple and bury it in the ground and then when it disintegrates. But um, in this way, I think you're more using air because when the butterfly is mature and it flies out into the world, um, the butterfly is carrying your attention out into the universe and that energy is literally going in the butterfly's life you know? and eventually the butterfly will die but your intention will not because the butterfly will eventually disintegrate go into the earth and be used again for something else the seed will grow there or um, something of that nature or a plant will use the dirt two and a four-year-old. 
literally took like three years break from life. I literally did not leave my house. Um, I stopped driving. I stopped going anywhere. I became a very recluse person. And um, I had been involved in fundamental Christianity at the time, which getting involved in that, um, it, a lot of people think it's quite cultish, and it consumed my entire life. I mean, every single day there was activities, and if you didn't do those activities, you were just uh, ridiculed, to put it in a simple way. Um, and when those babies died, and um, I saw people for who they really were and realized that these people who are preaching one thing are not living that way. Um, they're not there for each other. It's more just do, 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 do the work. But when it comes to actually having the compassion and the love and really being there when people are in need and not judging and not...